Hello guys and welcome back by the character review of World of Warcraft. This time we are looking at the Warrior Class Trial level 110. Um, I did the Warrior level 1 till 4 or something like that, like half an hour uh, of the first uh, play of, of uh, Warrior. I'm not gonna go through all the Orc stuff because I did that on that one if you want to watch that. It's the Warrior Orc Mill. Um, Check the review. This time we are taking Doofy again. We can choose between arms, a battle hardened master of weapons using mobility and overpowering attacks to strike the opponents down, uh, a fury, a fury berserker, which I cannot trial, sadly, uh, unleashing a flurry of attacks uh, to carve his opponents to pieces, dual two handed axes, mages, and swords. Or the protection. That's the tank part. Uh, Stalwart protector who uses a shield to safeguard himself and his allies. Preferred weapon, axe, a mace, a sword and a shield. I cannot try that one also. But we are going for arms, preferred weapon, two-handed axes, maces and sword. Uh, let's just try it out uh, how the warrior will be on a level 110. Well met. Welcome to Silithus Duty and the protection of our Azerite operation from the Alliance. The War Chief expects every hero of the Horde to be sharp and ready. We should use this time for a bit of combat training. Say the word and we'll begin. Alright, well, here we go with the 110 Orc. He looks kinda dope though. Look at him. I dig the way he looks. So we are on a zeppelin, I guess, because the orcs use zeppelins. Yes, it is a zeppelin. I am at the seething shore in Kalimdor. Where is that? No idea. <laughs> but. Let's check out some... Oh, I have a flying mode. Grout mode, we're not allowed. Okay. So, we got the baggies, we got broken survival kit. Oh. Uh, Fly muscle whistle. Alright. Let's keep that over there, whatever. Hi, girl. Speak. Friends. I'm ready to begin. Yes. Be safe. All right. So what do I need to do? Arms warriors are the ultimate physical combatants, using martial skill and weaponry to crush those who stand against them. But you cannot defeat an opponent that's out of reach. Fortunately, you have a skill to solve this problem. Use your charge ability to cover the distance to this target dummy. Alright. Once you reach your target, you will perform basic attacks automatically. But a skilled combatant unleashes a variety of advanced abilities to defeat a foe. Mortal Strike is such an attack. Use it whenever it is available. <coughs> Use Mortal Strike on the target dummy. Nice. So, Mortal Strike is a vicious strike that deals 1520 physical damage. Reduce the effectiveness of healing of the target by 25% for 10 seconds. Alright, so I need to use it one more time. Nice. Dealing damage to your enemy builds up rage, which fuels your attacks. Use slam to spend rage and deal damage to your enemy. Use slam on the target dummy. Oh, we've seen slam before. Alright. Power makes use of your immense strength to land a critical strike on your enemy. This devastating attack 
also empowers your next mortal strike, so use it early and often. Use overpower on the target dummy. Let's see when we can use it. We're gonna need to use it two times. Oh, okay. I wanna use it, see it from this side. You're learning fast. Let me see it one more time. Now oh. that you have all your primary attack abilities, we will see how they work together. Practice using your attacks on this target dummy. All right. <laughs> Victory Rush ability can only be used during this time, restoring health as you strike a new enemy. Eliminate an enemy, enabling Victory Rush to be used on your next opponent. The Victory Rush strikes the target, causing 511 damage and healing you for 20% of your maximum health. Nice. Only use about within 20 seconds of you kill an enemy that you use experience or honor. Okay. Very good! Your opponents may try to overwhelm you with numbers, but they underestimate your true might. Whirlwind allows you to swing your weapon in wide arcs, cutting a swath of carnage into all enemies around you. Use Whirlwind to take out this group of enemies. Whirlwind. Unleash the whirlwind of steel, striking all enemies within 8 yards for a 444 physical damage. Oh, I need to be real. Yes. Alright. Perfect. In the heat of battle. There will be times you need to move quickly to avoid danger or confront it. Heroic Leap allows you to bound across the battlefield to accomplish either goal. Practice using Heroic Leap. Heroic Leap. Leap through the air towards the target location, slamming down with destructive force to do 131 physical damage to all enemies within 80 yards. All right. Excellent work. Target practice is over, hero. It's time to prove your mettle. Combine all the lessons you've learned and use them to defeat my men in combat. Show me you fight with fearlessness and ferocity. I just found out that this is the Horde logo. All right. <laughs> First one down. Good work. Now demonstrate your skill against two foes at the same time. Come.
Alright. I'm kinda concentrating, sorry about that. Don't know why though, but. Well done, hero. You are now prepared to do battle. When you feel ready, explore your spell book and the talent tree for additional abilities you can learn. For the horde! Horde horde. Alright, so take the wind rider to the back of the airship and join the fleet. What is the back and what's the front? Uh oh wait, it's over there. Alright. Cause this was the back where I was going to. Oh yeah, I see them, okay. Hello beastie. Yes. Champions. The hour is at hand. The Alliance shall fall upon our blades as they desperately grasp at our prized Lordaeron Keep. Report to High Overlord Sarfang. Teach them the price of their folly. For the Horde! Alright, well, it's... I still think that World of Warcraft looks pretty, even though it's old. How long does it exist now? 15 years, I think? 15 or 16 years or something? I... I... No. Oh. I had to do that. Oopsie. <laughs> I'm I I don't want to do that now. I know what it is, but oh, I ended up here. Nice. You had to do the whole freaking battle, which I don't want to do at this moment. All right, so this is a wind rider where you can fly with in specific areas if you are able to if you open it. This is Ugrimar, like the beginning area of the orcs. And the trolls, I think. It's kind of big. Main halls, auction house, bankers. Over here, you got some like training areas, and jumping areas, fishing areas. Oh, this is the the drag. Well, you have one of the first dungeons where you can go in. Uh, what is it again? I need to get closer. I totally forgot how the dungeon is called, though. You can go out in the back of here, and then you are like on top of one of the outskirts of Ogremar. That is the place where we were just walking. We went in there. Oh, I just want to say, there's also like a goblin place. I think that's this. Yeah, yeah you can see all the freaking goblins and shit. So it's pretty big, it's pretty huge. Here you go out to Durota and the Barons. Like over here is the Barons, I thought. Yeah. So. There's another zeppelin that will take you to other cities, and this is basically the massiveness of uh, Ogrimmar. Goes all the way over here. Did Onyxia face it? Is did they kill her again? Why isn't that Onyxia? No, that's not Onyxia. I don't know what that is. These old portals, which I haven't opened yet on this year. Oh, I did open on this character. Alright. What kind of ports you can go to? Different kind of worlds. And the rest of Ogrimmar with the Pandaren spot. So, yeah, this is basically a little tour of Ogrimmar. And uh, a little bit that the, um, uh, how do you say that? The arms 
warrior armed can do. Really? Do what I want you to do, dude. Thank you. Can I see the other things that you can do with Fury? I can. I can activate it. It said that I couldn't. <laughs> Fuck that up. So you can only play arms, but you can obviously activate Fury. A Fury is Berserk and Legion of Fury. Blah blah blah. I've seen that. These are oh yeah, this is the things that you can also do. I totally forgot to show you that. That um, the specialization tree or the talent tree. Every level, level 15, 30, 45, 60, every like level until level 100, you can choose one of these uh, three uh, things that you can get that will upgrade your character. These are PV talent slots. I don't do them. A war mode activates world PvP. I'm not doing that normally too. But it's stuff that you can try. I normally use it like that. Um, protection. And here you got like totally different stuff that you can try and do and anything like that. These are basically stuff that you can find on the internet. If you want to know what everything is doing, check that out on internet. It's really easy to find that. Did they? Oh, they took all of those. Right. Basic shit. You can change this all time when you are in like a place where you are rested. Uh, you can see that like on the top left, my character has a ZZZ emote in his um, character thingy. That means you are in a safe area where you can get, well, safe area. If a lion's coming, you will probably die if you're AFK or whatever. But if you log out over here, you will get rest of bonus. Rest of bonus makes your XP goes faster. Your experience points. I have now 200% of normal experience gained from monsters because I'm rested. 1%, but still. It's, uh... It's a pretty neat thing that they did. So this was like the beginning of the uh, the orc uh, arms specialization, and um, it's a damage. It's a it's a DPS feature. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked it, and I hope I'll see you guys in the next one that I make. Bye-bye.